it's probably uh, 20 years ago that I first became aware of some of the traditions associated with Christmas Eve amongst the Polish community. And it came about like this. I was in conversation with a parishioner in a previous parish who herself was of Polish parents. She'd been widowed at an early age and left to bring up a family of children. And she spoke about these traditions and how the custom was to always have a, a place waiting at the Christmas Eve table for the unexpected guest. And having heard this, and knowing she was a woman of great goodness and great love for her family, I took it upon myself to check it out. So that next Christmas Eve I turned up unexpectedly on the doorstep of that house and as I had fully expected, I received a very warm welcome, was led to that very chair and enjoyed a, a festive meal with that family. So in a way, this initiative steps back to that act of kindness and hospitality and also reminding us of how in our own homes we can truly celebrate the festivals of our faith with our family, prayerfully, but joyfully too. And it's to a son of that family that I dedicate this initiative in our parish this year. Would you believe it? There are only eight more sleeps before Christmas Day. So I thought it was about time I let you know that I've prepared the booklet to help people to celebrate Christmas Eve at home in a slightly um, ceremonial way, following some of the traditions of the people of Poland and neighbouring countries, very uh, much rooted in old time traditions, but certainly in the Christian faith. So, um, and here it is. It's going to be available to download from the parish website, but those of you who are able to get to church this weekend, I will have some copies made out for you to um, to take with you. Um, I can't promise it'll all be in colour, colours in colour, but anyway this is this is the booklet and it, it begins with, it will begin probably outside looking for the first star of, of Christmas perhaps with a, a cup of hot chocolate um, and perhaps we will see because this is happening this year quite rarely the coincidence of the I think it's Jupiter and Saturn coming together will appear as a bright light not far from the moon. So coming back into the, the house, having seen the star, the idea will be to visit the family crib and listen there or tell again the story of the first Christmas. Although Another idea would be to watch a YouTube clip that I've given the link to, which gives the story with, with a, an animated version. And then once you've heard and told the story of that first Christmas, that will be the time to place, in a ceremonial way as it were, the, the Christ child in the crib. After that, gather at the Christmas table and light the candle that 
marks the beginning of Christmas time, the one that's in the centre of, of the wreath, again with a short um, prayer. And, um, and also take note of, well I've got my mum and dad here on a um, photograph behind them in the chair there. Polish people have a lovely tradition of leaving um, a chair ready for an unexpected guest or perhaps someone who can't be with them at Christmas just to remind them of, of them. Uh, there's more about that in the leaflet. After that, there is the taking of what I think is called the Oplatek, which this isn't the proper one, but it's a big piece of uh, bread, rye bread I've got here which is deliberately evocative of the Eucharist, of course, Christ being born into the manger, um, the, the place where the, 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 the cattle fed, is being placed on earth as, as, as food for us. Uh, and so there's a lovely tradition of, of uh, a blessing of the bread and the sharing of it around the, the table that evening. Again, some more details in the leaflet. And then it's getting down to either a, a simple uh, Christmas Eve supper or a more elaborate one. That's obviously whatever suits your circumstances. Um, in Poland, it tends to be a meat-free supper. They're still observing it in part the fast until Christmas Day. So I think the, the, the prize dish would be a, a, a carp. But I don't want you all running down to Acker's Pit and uh, fetching out uh, anything from there. Um, as I say, a light supper, a festive supper, whatever suits you that evening, but just to share it and perhaps tell stories and drink a toast to absent friends. And then to finish, then to go to the Christmas tree, and there's a, a prayer of dedication of the Christmas tree linking it in with uh, the, the Christian understanding of this time of, of year. And if you so wish at that point to just exchange one small gift to those who are present, hoping of course that overnight Father Christmas might be good enough and generous enough to bring some other gifts, but perhaps a family gift. So there you have it. So there it is, hopefully a resource that will help you to celebrate your Christmas Eve at the end of this rather different kind of year, perhaps in an all intimate way with those with whom you'll be sharing uh, your celebration of Christmas.